Here we are at 206 Grand Prix. We're in the front of the home. I'm gonna pan around so you can see the entire front and the neighborhood. It does have this little irrigation ditch here and you can see, if I back up a little bit, the water does uh, pull a little bit down at the bottom of the driveway. And then down to the neighbors. And then back around. So here's the long driveway, two car driveway and then back up to the house. Okay, do have some mature trees here. Obviously it's winter, so they don't really show as nicely as in summer. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk in. Um, to the left, I can see a 10 foot gate. So you could drive through that gate. Um, they do have it locked over there. Here is the garage. The garage um, itself looks new. And you can see that they also have the keypad for entry over here. Here is the porch area. I'm gonna walk past it. They do have um, some driftwood and then some roses over here. You can tell they put down the pine straw, make it look a little nice. So we're gonna keep walking around to see the other gate. And this is just a single gate on this side. Let's see if we can brighten it up a little for you. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna head on back in to the house. All right, so we head on in. Here we go, here is the entryway. I'm gonna have to pan up and down so you can get the visuals. The light fixture and then you're immediately met by this um, hardwood. Here we go. To the right is a coat closet. Obviously they have stuff in there right now. Here we go. It's a pretty deep closet. It does go um, deeper than maybe the camera is able to show. Okay. I'm gonna close that up, close up the front door. Take a step back so you can see the whole foyer area from this angle. All right, I'm gonna do a close up of the paint color so you can get an idea. Um, it's like this gray color, looks really nice. They have the floorboards all painted white, everything looks really good. So, and here is the kitchen. have these updated knobs on the cabinets themselves and then this backsplash. I'm going to do a close up of it for you. Okay, looks like um, cement countertops. So people do the cement epoxy. And then here are the lower cabinets. Plenty of cabinet space. Um, they have this cute little shelf right here above the sink so you can like be washing dishes and then peeking out okay the sink itself um, you know isn't original it's been updated it's really nice looking it does have this detachable sprayer right here okay lots of counter space they have this decorative um, cabinetry with the glass inlays we pan over to the appliances the appliances I'm told are newer so we have um, all matching white appliances. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back so you can get this light fixture. And it is, here we go, kind of like a tray light fixture. And then you head right and that's where the fridge is. So we have the side-by-side -side fridge right here, cabinet space above it, and storage, open storage over here, um, you know, for all your little appliances or maybe a coffee maker anything decorative. They do have this little, um, it looks like a trash can chute, so you set your trash right through there. Um, this is the pantry. They have added this cute little shelving to the outside of the pantry. So whenever I open the door, we can see that the pantry is much bigger. Lots of storage space in there. 
Okay. Go ahead and close that. All right, further on, we have the dining area. So we have from the garage door right here. So if you wanted to enter through the garage, take a left and here's the dining. I'm gonna walk through and back up so you can get a good visual of the entire space. Do a little close up of the light fixture. Here we go. And it does overlook this little bay window. So it's all really charming, a lot of cute features. You can see out back. Um, here you go. So there is more space than their table um, is, so it could accommodate a pretty good sized table. And you can see that they have the light swagged over, so the light is centered to the room. All right, and right here we have a little transition to this carpeting. I'll do a close up of the carpet. It's in really good condition. It's like the multicolor, um, like brown tones carpeting. Okay, so look back over the fireplace area. And I'm gonna back up so you can get a visual of this entire living room. The windows are gonna be working against me, so sorry that I have to keep adjusting the light. All right, so I'm standing technically back in the foyer, looking at the um, living room area. It's a vaulted ceiling. It does have a ceiling fan in here. I'll do a close up of that so you can kind of see the colors. Here we go. And then over here is the fireplace. Some extra shelving over here to the side. And they have a pretty large TV, which fits really well above it. So a little close up of the rocks. Here we go. And it appears to be a wood burning fireplace. So you can see the soot in there. Okay. And then um, this door leads out to the back patio. I'm going to go in there toward the end. Um, they do have the wood, so that way you can enter um, and not get, you know, your carpet dirty. So when I pan back around the living room area, then I'm back to the foyer. So from the entryway, um, the HVAC unit is right here. I'll go ahead. So we have a couple things stored in front of it. But that room is in here. And then your air return is down here. Okay, so we head down the hallway. Good visual. It's all the hardwood continues through the hallway. We have the first bedroom here on the right. Really good size room. Hardwood as well. Looks like we have this blue color and then contrasting with a gray color on the adjacent wall. This room does have a ceiling fan. I'm sorry if my lighting keeps being wonky, but it's every time I look at the windows, it's overcast here today. So there we go. Brighten it up. Okay, so you can kind of see the contrast, you know, the grays are on um, these three walls and then the, the dark gray is on that wall. This is probably the best visual of the actual color. All right, so here's the closet in this bedroom. I would say an oversized, you know, regular sized closet. It's a little deeper than usual. Um, they're like more recessed. Than typical you know you can see that the hangers are way back here as opposed to being forward another few inches so plenty of storage space there okay so we'll head over to the next bedroom oh here we go we have a closet first lots of storage space for those linens And then the next bedroom is over here. So this wall color is kind of a like off green a little bit, very mild. I wouldn't say it's ostentatious in any way. Um, you're immediately met by the closet right here, so I'll go ahead and open this up. This one is a bit bigger than the other closet. I don't know if it shows as well. Again, it's they're deeper than regular closets. Kind of give you an idea. Okay. And whenever I turn left, I'll paint around the room. Again, this room does have that same hardwood as before. It does have a ceiling fan. All the rooms have these um, faux wood blinds. 